Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nico and I am a full-time eBay reseller. So, I have been on the road and shopping for another four days. Uh, I did need some inventory. Uh, before I left, I had all of my inventory 100% completely typed in, uh, except for the jewelry lot, which I am still doing for uh, as a consignment pr uh, client. I have a consignment client I'm doing it for, but I don't make a whole, whole lot on that, so I can't prioritize it so I had work I could have done you know I can always edit I could always do all of that but when I left this place was eat off the floor spotless all of my own personal stuff was typed in and so I felt like I needed to go and so I was gone four days and I did really really well I spent very little money in the scheme of things so I'm gonna try to recreate it the receipts are buried down in different places different sacks I went to the bins for a day and a half. I went garage sailing on Friday. There were only about six garage sales, I want to say. Then I went thrifting, and then today I went to an estate sale. And so, yeah, it's just kind of a hodgepodge. So I'm going to start with what I just brought into my office about an hour ago. Uh, my friend told me about this estate sale yesterday, and then I was garage sailing out of town, so I couldn't be there the first day. And this family had just all kinds of stuff. I mean, a lot of it was glassware and things that I'm not an expert in and I don't really want to do. But, uh, you know, who knows what I missed and what walked out of there. But let me go ahead and we'll get started. I'm going to do these in about half hour increments. Uh, my, my internet is working great. My fiber internet seems to be just instantly uploading my videos. So that's good. So you will get more videos out of me than you would have if um, I had trouble getting them to you. So thankfully it's not like last weekend where one one hour video took literally about an hour to, up, or I mean eight hours to upload. Uh, this is going very, very fast and everything seems to be good. So I just made a couple videos on some bolos and uh, in case you don't go back and watch them or in case someone just watches the quicker videos, I'm going to repeat myself just a little bit on a couple of items. So uh, I went over there. I didn't get there till around nine o'clock because I had to be to the mail by 8.30 and orders just kept coming in. Uh, you can watch my shipping video from this morning. It's been a really good 24 hours on eBay for us. And um, so I had to take my mail, drop it off, and then I went directly over to the um, estate sale. So this is what I found. So they had a whole out, this was outside, they had a whole outside wall of free books. And I used to be a bookseller, so I just can't help myself. I'm trying not necessarily to be full time again on books, although that, you know, now that COVID's over and libraries are open and thrift stores have a lot of books and garage sales have books. I, I might go back to scanning books too. I love doing it. It just, it, it adds up so quickly if you learn anything at all. But um, they had tons of free books. They had a lot of Westerns, um, some action type books, not enough I didn't think to make a big lot out of. And then they had a ton of vintage sci-fi. And this is where I love finding vintage sci-fi. I wish that they had all the sets like I have. Um, you know, three of this set, you know, and if, if I had the whole set, oh man, you're talking big money. But, uh, you know, I only have three of these and then I have, you know, some other miscellaneous sets. But I know I have at least 50 sci-fi books and they're in horrible condition. You know, they're kind of falling apart. Look at this one, this one on the front. You know, it's just horrible condition. But the good news is these bulk lots sell. People either have a bookstore of their own and they take the time to micro sort them out and they're just buying bulk lots or they know that there's one rare one in here and, and that's fine with me. I'm going to auction off however many I have in a bulk science fiction lot. And I probably got about 100 books, but some of them are like, um, I did get a bunch of Edgar Rice Burroughs Tarzan ones, and so I'm going to see how much I can get for those. The books were free, so I did try to sort as much as I could, but I felt like, you know, they're free. I'll just take the couple of boxes that I already sorted. Uh, we've had a ton of torrential rain in the last two or three days, which has been great. Uh, we help my mom too, and so we haven't had to water her lawn or water our lawn as much, and so that makes it really good on all of us. So anyway, the books were free, and then for whatever reason, they had a lot of other stuff marked pretty high, but for whatever reason, these telephones 
were in the free pile by the wall. So what these are, now I paid $21 total for the stuff that I did pay for. The books were free, the telephones were free. These are brand new dead stock um, Western electric telephones. I thought I had four of them. I thought they were a real slim line, but thankfully I didn't pay for them. They're free. When I got home, one, one box is the bottom, one box is the top. But these actually go for around $40 on eBay in unused condition. And I've got two sets. So that is exciting. So there's 100 bucks right there. Um, and I didn't even pay for any of this stuff here. So I'm going to put those back in there. I want to get these listed probably. I don't know if I'll get them today. I've got a bunch of other stuff kind of half in process. This, These two boxes are done by my virtual assistant. And I just need to launch them and put them away. So I'm tired today. I have literally, I hurt my arm at the bins, actually, like my shoulder right here, just from digging. And, you know, I knew I only had a day and a half. So I think I was just a little bit like feeling anxious at first if I was going to get enough. After that first few hours, I knew that I was going to be just fine. But all the younger people are there and they're digging fast and the t-shirt guys are like doing this flip thing and I just wasn't paying attention and I was kind of doing the same thing and I'm older I should not be doing that and I'm five foot tall so leaning over the bins I just I kind of feel like I overstretched this shoulder muscle but I'll be fine and I'm gonna let it rest I'm not going back to the bins most likely for seven to ten days and so I should get a pretty good rest I will have to poop out on that part of my workout when I'm working out. I don't know if I can do um, push-ups right now. So uh, I don't think we have a workout Monday morning uh, because it's Memorial Day. And so even if I had that workout that I go to, that workout class, I just wouldn't do the push-up parts. And so I can just do the treadmill at home and that won't involve my arm. So if you're a praying person, pray for my arm that it heals and I don't have a long-term injury. I really try to be careful, but um, these I paid in the end $3. I wanted to pay for something, you know, I felt kind of bad. So I feel like these were overpriced, but they are about as Y2K as I, I think they're very Y2K. I'm not that good at, you know, the fashion thing. But uh, definitely, I think these are, these are armadillos in a seven and a half. They're actually my size. I could sport these around and be a couple inches taller. You know, if I had the whole look going, I think these would be cute. But if I just wore them with what I normally wear, people would be like, okay. Um, you know, the, some young girl who can really sport these or someone who's fashion, fashion savvy. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking I can get between 20 and 30. I didn't look these up. I'm going to either sell them on eBay or if I don't think that this brand is worth that much, I'm going to consign these. Uh, those will sell at the consignment. All right. Then I paid $1.50 a piece on these. Same thing. I'm going to look these up on eBay. I just kind of ran out of time. If these don't end up to be worth anything, then I'm going to consign these. This one is really cute. It's Slumba. Lumba craft and um, I don't think this is this isn't the correct box so I'll take it out of the box to photo I won't include the box who knows where the stuff in the box went okay. then I did pay up for this this is where a lot of my money went this is ten dollars so this is a I wouldn't say it's new in the box but it's still in the box now the box is uh, pretty damaged or pretty dented up but it's a resist all hat and it's a three times beaver so there you go three times beaver and I don't know what the size is oh size seven so good size this is kind of a navy blue and then it has you know a real cute uh, feather hat band and then like a metal hat band. So I've got to dust this off, but it's really in good condition. This is just dust and it will dust off with a brush. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I think my comps on uh, this, I've got to look at the actual um, uh, size uh, comps, but I'm thinking 40 to 50 on that pretty easily. The biggest part is, you know, sending the box. That's the problem is that they have to pay a whole lot of shipping to get the vintage box, but it does help sell it, so it's okay. Let's see, this is not from the estate sale, so I will show you that next. 
Okay. I walked off and left this, and thankfully I had called a friend and said, hey, you got to come up here because he buys records. Thankfully, he came up there, and he was still there because they didn't know who I was. Oh, I just got dirt all over my face. Anyway, um, he didn't, they didn't know who I was, so thankfully he called me and said, hey, you left half your stuff. So I went up there. I, I just must have been tired. I left this bag. Now, this is definitely Grandma Core. It's kind of an all-over print. I just couldn't resist. Uh, I think I paid around a dollar for these. I can't remember exactly, but this is just really, you know, the nature scene. It says Art Unlimited. So I'll either consign it or sell it on eBay. I haven't looked it up yet. And then this sweater, I just love these old vintage sweaters. I've tried and tried to have a store like this with all these sweaters. I find them all the time. I don't know why in Wyoming. I, I could have a hundred sweaters like this in a week. And I, I've tried, but I just can't get them to move for enough or fast enough. They do sell for a decent amount, but I they just sit in my store too long. This is just a Kmart sweater. Um, but this is definitely, you know, what, 80s, Y2K, definitely 80s or 90s at the very, I think it's 80s more, maybe even 70s. So anyway, I got those two. Those are in good condition. Okay. And then I got these. These were the first thing that I picked out. Uh, these are tree huggers, or not tree huggers, <laughs> tree huggers. They're elf um, knee huggers, not tree huggers, knee huggers. Jeez, I don't know what I'm saying. All right. And, uh, they do say, uh, non, not color fast Japan. So that proves to me that all three of these are from Japan. They all have that tag. They don't have a brand name, unfortunately. I think based on my comps and you can go look at the video I just made, I made about a five or six minute video talking about the bolo of these knee huggers here and then the knees come out um and you know how much i might get my faces are kind of happy faces and uh but there are ones with pointy ears there are devil ones there are you know kind of sly evil ones they call them and those tend to be worth more and there are a little bit bigger ones and the little bit bigger ones uh can also be worth like 80 to 100 dollars just one but these three together should get me around 75 dollars is what i'm looking at and i paid a buck a piece on these and then i just grabbed this thing it's just i love these things they go in your chips and they hook on there and so this is an older one i haven't tried this exact tight but i have similar ones to these and i keep all of the all of my bags of chips and everything with those on there so let's see, we're 12 minutes in. Let's do a little bit of a couple of other little stores that I went to. That is all that I got at the estate sale this morning for $21, what you just saw. And uh, I think just any one of those things is gonna pay for that. So I'm happy about that. This is uh, from the consignment store yesterday. I only found one thing. I spent about an hour in there. I've been there a lot lately, and the whole time I'm there, they're bringing more stuff out. So I don't know why. I just couldn't seem to find anything that I really felt like picking up. I have about $120 in credit there still. So I dropped off my bag, and so by next week when I go again... Um, we're going Monday for Memorial Day to see my mom and put some uh, flowers on some graves and everything and, you know, kind of have a day out. So, um, you know, I could go Monday, but I just feel like I've shopped it too much. I want to give them three or four days to catch up with everything that they're collecting this weekend. And hopefully they're putting a lot out and then maybe next friday i might go to some garage sales and run up there and try to use up my consignment credit but yeah i just i just wasn't finding anything and normally i find arm loads there uh but i was tired too that was my last store after four days of shopping and maybe it was just me i don't know but anyway this i used my consignment credit for three dollars and 18 cents um i did not even realize that that was half you know what i did not I did not realize this was half. That's even better. I this was upstairs. I never went in the basement. I thought I was paying six for it. Three eighteen is even better. So okay, that's a surprise to me. Since I didn't actually pay out cash, I didn't realize it. Um, this is a. I guess I should show you what the item is. This is a Joseph Ribkoff jacket. The only reason, I this has been there a few weeks, and I didn't pick it up because I was picking up other Joseph Ribkoff, and this is a size 6, too, and I thought, eh, you know, I like the bigger sizes in Joseph Ribkoff, 
But this is also a pretty distinctive jacket, and so I thought it was worth $6 but turns out it was $3, so I am really thrilled with that. Um, I'm thinking I'll get about 24 to 30 on this, and then I'll have to hold it a little bit. So I'm trying not to do this, but I was tired and I just wanted to find something. So I kind of probably, you know, in that size, it's probably not my best choice, honestly. All right, now I have a mess. I, oh, I let's see, I guess you never, I guess I never made a video when my office was spotless. Um, literally, there was nothing on the counters here, nothing under my feet. Everything was swept and mopped, and that was it. it. It was really nice when I came home. Now, of course, I've dumped again, but that's all right. Um, I cannot find my receipt. It's in one of these bins bags, so we'll find it eventually. It'll be down in there. So I spent about 120 the first day, the long day that I was there the entire day, and then the second day I was only there till about 2 o'clock, and I had already found a lot of great stuff, so I was a lot pickier, and I only spent around, I think it was 60 bucks the second day. I'll find the receipts. So I just got this for consignment. This is not a good brand, JJ's House. Um, and I have my scissors here. I'm gonna clip as we go, so I'm actually getting some work done. Um, but this wedding dress type stuff, they love it at that consignment store. And I don't think a lot of people consign stuff like this. I really kind of missed the boat on the prom season. I wish I would have given them more prom things because they have such a college, high school college following that I think I really could have made a lot of money on prom dresses, which come out every day of the week in the bins and no one wants them. And I need to do better. Um, a lot of what you're going to see, I am putting away for consignment or I'm keeping or I'm giving to consignment like as soon as I can. Uh, and so I did spend up quite a decent amount of money on consignment stuff and also some winter stuff that I'm going to put away. This is JJ's house, not a real high-end brand, but it's a wedding and special occasion dress, and this will do well. I'll end up getting probably $15 on consignment for this. I bet they'll put 25 to 30 maybe more, I don't know, and I'll get a decent amount. Now these are examples of things that I'm going to consign in the winter. I'm really low on winter consignment, and I know it's May, but it's already going on to June. June 1st will be here in just a couple of days. So that doesn't give me too many months to accumulate this stuff before they start asking for winter. And so I have two or three months to, to get a bunch of weeks worth. I don't want to stress over getting my consignment profit in there in the winter like I did this year. This year I was caught short and I just had to go to the bins in the middle of a winter drive not only get stuff for eBay, but I had to worry about consignment, and I just don't want to do that. If it happens and the weather's good, that's great, but I don't want to have to worry. This is just an intro sweater. Um, it's really pretty, brand new with tags. I am going to look some of these things up on eBay and make sure I'm not missing something, but I think this is consignment. I'm pretty sure that intro is not something I want. All right, this is um, Banana Republic Extra Small but it is new with tags, so I went ahead and got it for consignment. Um, this should do okay. I'm gonna take the tag off this one. Okay. So yeah, just consignment. These are linen too, I think. That's, I think that's why I pulled them. Yeah, these are linen. So actually I was thinking, maybe I did get these for eBay, like right now, because they are, even though they're extra small, they're linen pants. So. I'm gonna change over my bin here and put those, I might actually list those. I'll look and see. It, it will hurt me that they're an extra small, but it'll help me that they're linen. And I got two of these. These are definitely consignment, I think. I don't think I'm gonna list these on eBay. These are She and Sky. Yeah, She and Sky, but they're darling. Look at the arms on these, look at the bobble, look at the, you know, really cute bobble. So they were two pretty much side by side and they're new with tags. So I'm just going to consign these. I don't know if these had any kind of a tag on them from the thrift. I don't think so. Those are ready to go. So yep, this is number two. I don't know what size these are. These are smalls. They're oversized. So oversized sweaters. But these will do really good in a couple months 
at consignment. So I hate to spend 25 to $50 of my current profits to get ready for winter, but I just feel like it's what I, I need to do so that I'm not stressed, you know, coming up in the winter. All right, what do we have here? Okay, same thing, Abercrombie & Fitch, extra small. Um, I would never pick these up at a regular thrift. Um, these are, I don't know if these have any special fabric or not. Um, they feel, they don't feel like linen, that's for sure. Ugh, trying to find it, guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to get my glasses out, too. I'm just not seeing it right off. It's not even that I can't read it. I'm just not seeing it. Anyway, um, oh, maybe it says on the tag. Do, do, do. No, it doesn't. Well, mm -hmm. oh, let me see if I can reach my glasses here, guys. They have made these tags so small. I know like this brand kind of, you know, is going for young people, but for the rest of us, just like if I was going to try these on at the store, I would have trouble seeing. Um, oh, polyester, um, polyester elastane. So just polyester stretch. So yeah, I only got these to consign. Um, this is a really cute skirt. This will do well. Um, just about any time. Abercrombie & Fitch is a great brand and you know they uh, focus on the college crowd so I'll probably take that sooner rather than later. All right, I got this for um, to consign also. This is Body Slimmers by Nancy Gans. Um, I don't try to do intimate stuff on eBay because I know you know with certain things you can, certain things you can't. Uh, it has to be new and so anyway I just got this to consign. That'll do good there. I'll make a few bucks on that. All right, this is an intro, another intro sweater. Also, I thought this had the tags on it. Maybe, maybe it just has this, I don't know. Um, I'm not seeing the actual tags. But anyway, I'm gonna consign it. This is another size small um, sweater. I'm going to immediately take that to my back bedroom. I'm not even going to mess with those. Those things will wait, and I'll just dole them out every weekend when I take my consignment stuff. Um, this is a Feathers brand. I think this is just for my summer consignment, like right now. I'm going to take it. It's really cute detail on the sleeve, and I thought it, it's a more of a mustard yellow than what you're seeing. It's very, very cute. So I'm going to take this to consignment pretty soon. Then this was just laying in the bottom of the bins. I didn't even look it up. I thought I could consign it at the very least, but it's a Soma Cool Nights PJ set, short sleeve tee and banded ankle pants in a 2XL. So um, definitely I'm going to look this up and I think this should sell on eBay for something, but if not, the it'll be a great consignment piece. Okay, Torrid size two. Whoops. <laughs> okay, guys, that doesn't help. So this is either a short dress or a tunic top. Not sure what you would call it, but very pretty. Um, I'm struggling to get uh, the 25 that I want on this kind of thing. So I can list this in a few minutes. I'm going to make a decision. Either I'll donate it or I mean consign it or I will go ahead and just get, you know, a quick 20 turnaround on this. This one is above average, really cute. So I think I can get close to 20, but I'm trying to aim for 20 to 20, or, you know, 25. So um, I'll decide on that. All right. This here is a Kipling little mini backpack and I had never heard of these. I looked these up. I'm thinking this was an eBay thing that I thought I could get over $25 for. Now it's a mini one um, and I was going fast. They don't sell a lot of purses at that consignment store. They have a lot but I've heard even the staff saying that they don't turn around and so I don't donate a ton of purses there. Now if it's a high-end purse I would because then they do know their coach and some of that. But um, anyway, I think this is an eBay thing around $20 to $25. All right, guys, I'm going to do one more little bag. 
Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're at here. These look like they're from regular Goodwills. Oh yeah, here's my receipt on this one. At least this part of the bag. So I have two Goodwill tops for $3.75. These are Wyoming prices. One bra, it's a donated bra, so $2. And then one adult purse for $4. So um, I picked these up every time I see them. There were two of these there, but the brown one, it was broken here. It was missing the ring, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have picked up both. The brown, I think, is harder to find than the black. So I was disappointed in that, but I peeled the Michi thing off, which I don't know now why I didn't pull it back on. I always pull it off to check the edge wear here and along here because this is the exposed part of the purse. You can see um, that any wear is where the Michi shell doesn't cover it. And so you have to take it off and just make sure it is in good condition. But this easily sells for around $30. I sell them every time I can possibly find them. And I paid four bucks for it. It's not super duper clean inside, but it's doable. And there is still a following for this Michi. Michi stuff or Miche, however you say it. Okay, this is a bra. I got this for my consignment client. I won't charge her a whole lot, but it's a Livy bra. And I just want to bulk up the order that I got. I did find a decent amount from the bins. And there's still stuff that she's paying me $3 for that I paid like 50 cents for. And so I just wanted, anytime I find a substantial bra, even if I just barely break even and I'm at a regular thrift, I do pick it up for her. So I'm going to get that to her. And then I found another Zero Foxtrot shirt, guys. I couldn't believe it because I found five at that consignment store last week. Two or three of them have already sold. And so this is Zero Foxtrot. Um, I told you about the brand. It's like a, a veterans run brand. So it has to do with being at war and that kind of thing. Uh, I'll look this one up. The one I sold that looked kind of like a stormtrooper, I sold that one for like 32 or something right away. And then the other one I sold in the high 20s. And I th I'm thinking I sold three. I just can't remember now. That one, since it's a tank top, I think I'll get over 20 for it. Maybe the tank tops are more popular. I don't know. I know nothing about the brand except just this week I discovered it. And then now I'm finding it. These I got for myself. These are cool gray shorts. I have this exact pair in a um, kind of a... Uh, rust color and I like it but it's just not as versatile this you can wear you know uh, a lot of other shirts with it on the rust color shorts it's a little bit hard so these are for me I was glad to find them in my own size all right this is a another receipt this is from the Goodwill on the 23rd so this is maybe on my way up I guess is what it was on my way up on the trip and I found two items and I spent um seven dollars and 18 cents there you go on two items so i found this belt this is a nakona belt but it's in a good size it's a size is it 36 or 38 i can't tell you but anyway really cute so i think i can get over 20 for it i always check right here because this is where the wear would occur but it's in good condition and um, it does say uh, genuine leather and it has a number but I saw a belt with these kind of things on it and it's actually a popular popular style so I should get over 20 for that plus shipping and then here's toward again now this one's new with tags so I paid what did I say 375 yeah sometimes they accidentally charge me as a dress or something so I got to watch them but this one it's a lot prettier orange than what's showing there it's like a deep coral and a brand new size two uh, in Torrid. So I should be able to get over $20 plus shipping on this. And this one, does it have pockets? I like the ones that have pockets because they do sell for more, but nope, I don't see that. But anyway, really nice detail on there. So that should be good. All right, guys, we are exactly pretty close to um, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna let you go and get this one uploaded and kind of clear out my space. I can't hardly even show you anything else because I can't set anything down. So uh, in the next day or two, um, you will get, um, a, you know, I'm gonna show you everything else that's behind me so I can get it washing. All right, have a great day, guys. If you don't mind, like and subscribe. It would really help me out. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.